Tonight, a break in a mystery that began on Mother's Day of 2020. After three agonizing years and dozens of searches. I've got to find my little sister and I have to bring closure to my family. Police in Colorado say they have found the remains of Suzanne Morphew. The mother of two was 49 at the time of her disappearance. Something's up with the front tire. Her husband, Barry, said he was on a work trip when she disappeared. This is police body camera video of when they discovered her bike. I mean, the bike looked, the way it was laid, it kind of looked like it, but there's not really that much damage to the bike. That's the lion? Yeah, it was just like lion. Was that Noah Lion? Mountain yeah. lion? Barry publicly pleaded for her safe return. We love you, we miss you, your girls need you. No questions asked. However much they want, I will do whatever it takes to get you back. But investigators began to suspect he wasn't just a grieving husband. I know this is a weird question, yeah. but um, do Barry and Suzanne get along pretty well? Do they, like, talk about separating or anything they like that? They have, yeah. He was arrested and charged with first-degree murder on May 5th, 2021. In the arrest warrant, investigators accused Barry of shooting his wife with a tranquilizer gun and then taking steps to dispose of evidence of Suzanne's disappearance and death, create a false alibi for himself, and stage a crime scene. And days before the trial was set to begin, the charges were dropped. The prosecution saying they wanted more evidence and he remains a suspect. Barry walking out of court with his daughters by his side. He told ABC News this in an interview. They're wrong. They're, they've got tunnel vision. And they looked at one person and they've got too much pride to say they're wrong and look somewhere else. Prosecutors in the area where the body was discovered say the case is still active. With a new development that's so big as this, as the actual remains, given that one of the charges was not just murder, but was also tampering with evidence and tampering with a corpse, they can tie these together and they have a much stronger case. As for Barry Morphew, in a statement his attorney maintaining his innocence, telling NBC News, quote, Barry is with his daughters, and they are all struggling with immense shock and grief after learning today that their mother and wife, whom they deeply love, was found deceased. Okay, Ellison Barber joins us now live on set. So, Ellison, there's now a new DA. It wasn't the original DA from 2021. Yeah, so it's not, which is a little confusing, but you kind of just have to think of it in terms of police jurisdictions. What happened is when she was reported missing, it was in one DA's district. When they found the remains, it's in another's. But when we were speaking to Angela Sinadella, she said this is a situation where because that first DA dropped the case on their own accord, the other DA will basically just pick things up, likely where they left off if they do decide to pursue charges. And speaking with Angela Sinadella, she said that is what she believes will happen. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.